anybody that wants to complain about the playoff, just just please remember the BCS. Just remember how that turned out. Yeah, it was not good. I complained about it every year and gave valid examples of why it didn't work. Regardless of its defenders, I, I was able to go A, B, and C. This is why it doesn't work. This is what doesn't make sense. This is who got left out that has just as good a resume as this team over here that got in. Yes, didn't make sense. And we've got a better format. Not perfect because we've got Not five perfect. conferences trying to squeeze into four spots, but better. And for the Buckeyes and the Nittany Lions, for Penn State, it appears to be a clear path. If they beat Ohio State, they will certainly be a huge favorite in the rest of its games, excluding, to a certain extent, the Michigan State game. But they'll be a clear favorite in that one to march on and face most likely Wisconsin, where for Ohio State, they will still have some work to do, Over the, although this would appear to be the biggest hurdle to clear to get to the Big Ten championship game, there would still be Michigan State, there would still be a date at Iowa, and there would be Michigan in the path for Ohio State. And if another game is lost by Ohio State and they beat Penn State, then we start to muddy the waters in terms of who makes it out of the Eastern Division, i.e. 2016 all over again, where Michigan beat Penn State, Penn State beat Ohio State, Ohio State beat Michigan. Maybe we get one of those deals. <laughs> I'm not writing anything off in college football ever. And that's one of the reasons I'm a huge college football fan. Anything can happen any week. Every game matters. 